Hey what's up, it's Two Scoops back again with Sonic Academy. In this two part video series, I'm going to be walking you through the ins and outs of a personal favorite plugin of mine, Gatekeeper, and how I like to utilize it in my music. Gatekeeper is a complex audio gating VST by Polyverse and Infected Mushroom. I'm going to start by showing you all the general presets this plugin has to offer. Alright, so I have a little serum patch loaded up here. And uh, this is the first just uh, gatekeeper patch. They have a little more complex gates like this uh, dramatic rev. It's a little more groovy. This is a personal favorite of mine, actually, in terms of the presets. Yeah, I like this one too. It's really good for adding kind of uh, further rhythmic qualities to like pads and whatnot. I like this one a lot more for sound design, personally. Changes to the evolving ones. So as you can tell, there's a lot of really useful presets in here. Um, you kind of get a, a really good variety of things uh, as you search through it, so yeah. I really enjoy utilizing this as filler elements, gated drop synths, and overall experimenting with sound design with this tool. It definitely helps me break away from the traditional in-synth sound design, and the presets really help easily emphasize on that point. So now for the functionality of Gatekeeper. Starting at the upper left window here, as you can see there is a switch that allows you to toggle on and off each individual selected gate. This is great for referencing between settings or for simple trial and error. Next we have each of the gate windows. These allow you to layer multiple gates over one another simultaneously. And with that, we have this little eye button which allows you to view the individual envelopes as you layer them over top of one another. Next to that is the MIDI learn button. This allows you to assign specific MIDI notes to turn on and off the desired gates. So now we'll move down below to the gate envelope where you have your play button, envelope button, and loop button. These will affect how you want to start and trigger your gates. And with that, you have your snap button, swing function, and beat grid. All these play into the timing and how you want your gate to sound rhythmically. Similarly to Ableton Live's automation, we have similar automation draw controls, such as point editor, draw mode, which you can switch uh, the different wave types to make editing quick, as well as eraser mode to erase curves. The smooth slider is used to soften the transients or peaks of each envelope curve. And the overall time adjustment is here, as well as the amp gain and the pan. And finally, at the bottom, we have the go button, which can trigger the gate when the play button is off, as well as uh, the input and output gains, dry wet signal, and the delay and clip. Next, I'm going to show you how to use the features of this plugin to set up the gates for sound design. First off, I'm going to start by pulling up a serum that a patch that I made and adding a gatekeeper over top of it and initializing the patch.
Once that's set up, I'm going to click the draw tool and drop down the arrow to select a curve shape that I like. I'm going to keep it pretty basic for the sake of this video. Let's also change the grid so that we can have a slower envelope speed. Now we just draw it in and we can readjust the beat grid to give uh, rhythmic variance to the gate. Thanks to everyone for watching. Follow up with my next video on how I use Gatekeeper in a real world setting. This is Two Scoops signing off. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting, and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.